Hello everyone, today we are going to see how to install a GKE cluster, Google Kubernetes cluster, with Terraform, and we are going to use two repositories. The first one, this Hasikov Terraform repo that we can see on the screen, that is based basically in three files. We have this GKE file, the one that you have on the screen. We have another file that is called Terraform TF bars, where we are going to have here is only a place where we are going to replace our project. and after that, we have the third file that is called vpc.tf, where we are going to create a VPC and a subnetwork. And this cluster is going to be different to the next one because in the next cluster, we're going to our subnetwork for pods and our subnetwork for services. You can see our file, our GK file. The difference here is that we are going to change the machine type because we don't want to have big numbers of machines. And we're going to have here in this Terraform state file, our project name. We remove the Terraform file, we execute as always Terraform in it. After that, Terraform plan, and we are going to see what is going to happen. With our Terraform plan, we have what we said before. We have a new VPC that is called the name of the project das VPC. We have a new subnetwork that is the name of the project das subnet that belongs to this VPC that we had before. And we have our container cluster. We are going to have our cluster with the info that we gave in our Terraform. It's a basic cluster. In this case, we are not taking consideration of anything. And then we have a basic node pool that is going to be connected to our cluster. We execute Terraform apply. And after a while, because this is taking more or less 10, 15 minutes, when this is done, if we go to our GKE console in Google Cloud console, we can see that the GKE cluster is there. If we click on the cluster, we can see that we have the setup that we chose before. It's a basic setup. And here in the nodes, we can see that we have this node pool, plus we have, in our case, three nodes. So it's a cluster with three workers. Okay, we saw that this is simple. Let's destroy this cluster with Terraform Destroy. And now we are going to see a different repo. This is coming from Google. And Google is giving this repo from Terraform with many, many, many examples. And this is super recommended because here you are going to see how to do every kind of cluster that you want to have in, in GK. Simple region, multi-region, simple zonal, very, very, very amount of number of clusters. But what we are going to do today is we're going to use the simple and basic example that we have in the Terraform readme. It's only to show that here we're going to make a call to a module called GK, and I want you to see how it's working. There is a little consideration. We need to create first a subnetwork called US Central 01 in this case, and then two SAM regions. Then if we go to our VPC, in this case default, and we search for this US Central 01 subnetwork, we'll see that it's there, and we see that there are two secondary IP ranges, one that is for the nodes and the other one for the services. So after we create our GK cluster, our nodes will use this one. In the nodes pool, we can see that we have a type E2 medium that we will change later, and two places where we need to change our project ID. If we go to the main, we can see how now we have this Lucid Cocoa project that we have currently. We have the, the regions, the Lucid Cocoa there, and in and in the node pools, we have N1 standard one. And in the service account, I created a service account called Terraform where I put all the permissions that I want. And super important because they want to create 100 workers. I change it to one because I don't want to spend millions to make this video. We remove .terraform as before. We execute Terraform in it as always when we want to work with Terraform. And the next step, Terraform plan. When we have our Terraform plan, we have nine resources. It's going to be, as before, the container clusters. We're going to have the three AIM permissions that we need, a service account that is going to be created, a random element, and then we have our service account connected to the cluster. Now we execute Terraform apply. And when this Terraform apply is created, if we go to our GKE console, what we're going to see is that now we have a cluster called GKE test one in this case, with two workers, and <laughs> all the information that we provide before. So the network, the sub network, the, the location where we're going to put our pod, our services. And here in the node, we have our node pools and we have the workers that we have up and running. I hope that you enjoy. This video was only to show you how simple it is to create a GKE cluster with Terraform and how you can get a lot of material for an internet, like those two repo, the one that you have for Google and the one that you have for Hasiko. And see you next week.
Do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained? We know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go, generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.